All right, so what is going on, everyone? Swan here, and we're back with some uh, actually MLB the Show. Of course, what I said we're switching off, you know, a little bit of a little bit of World War II, a little bit of the show, because I don't want to ditch this game uh, for World at War because or for World War II because I've been playing this so much and my team is looking so good. But uh, of course, you know, we're playing Battle Royale and we're eight and one. We did lose a game around the fifth game, sixth game. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, we're at eight and zero or eight and one. So if we get one more win, we get this Bruce Suter card, which I don't really care for. But once we get that, we have a chance at getting a uh, twelve win reward, or we get to see who it could be. So uh, let's go see what we can find. What what uh, I was about to say? What map? What uh, field should we play at? Let's play at San Diego. Let's go San Diego Studios. Give me something good. Let's see who we get. Let's find this game real quick, and then I'll show you my team too, because it's been a while since I've made a video. I don't know if I've, I don't think I've uploaded a video from this particular run of Battle Royale, but uh, I kind of like the squad. I don't really like the pitching too much. I do a little bit, but could have been a lot better, but I do really like the hitting, so let's show you what I'm up to. All right, it looks like we found someone. My pitching, I got two bronzes, three commons, and my squad is Travis Shaw leading off. Uh, throwback breakout Paul Goldschmidt, I believe. This new rookie Aaron Judge card, which is 94 overall with 99 power versus righties, 83 contact, 56 contact versus lefties, and 96 power versus lefties. Uh, Chris Coglin, Troy Tulowitzki, this is like a rookie Tulowitzki card, I believe. This is like some throwback Coglin card. Uh, Neil Walker, regular live series Matt Kemp. This is a live series Neil Walker too, and then I think live series Manny Pina something. Bench is just Barry Larkin, Brandon Geyer, Christian Cologne, Eric Young Jr., and Steve Finley. But anyways, let's get this game started before these people back out. I mean, it looks like he's got Reese Hoskins, player of the month, uh, Roberto Alomar, which is a little bit scary. Last person I played literally had Roberto Alomar in hitting leadoff too, and it looks like we're away. So I don't know what stadium we're playing at. Oakland Mavericks Greenery 13 is his gamer tag. And uh, let's see who we get. It looks like he might have a decent bullpen. I'm not sure. I think he's got a few. Uh, he might have a gold. I know he has some silvers in there. So let's see who he has. And it looks like we're playing in Oakland. We are playing at uh, the A Stadium. I don't really like this because the sun is out. Makes it a little bit harder to see. But we got Jerry Blevins. And J uh, Darren O'Day, those who are the two that I'm going to warm up. And I'm probably going to put in Blevins after the first uh, hit, uh, batter. But we got some other, we got a silver right here. And then the rest are bronzes and common. So, not too hot, but it looks like his bullpen is Brian Shaw. He's got Steve Ciszek, the 88 gold, uh, 88 overall gold. Uh, Anthony Swarzak. Okay, his bullpen's not too great. Wait, hold on. Let me check something. Okay. Yeah. He's got a lot of righties. Doesn't have very good lefties. They're 73, 70 overall, and then 69. So, hitting with lefties might be the key to this game because it looks like his bullpen is definitely right-handed heavy. So, he's got Johnny Cueto on the mound. He's going to toss a curveball in there, and it's not going to be in the strike zone. So, Oh, gosh. So many cords in my way. Give me a pitch to hit. Looks like it's going to be a little bit inside. I'm going to lay off that. Okay, I just need to move this headset. 2-0. Uh, hitters count, but I'm just going to let that slide by. And it's 3-0. And we got Paul Goldschmidt on, get, on deck with like a 330 batting average, I believe it said. That could have been a ball. That could change this whole at bat. And I think I have 40 home runs with Paul Goldschmidt because I've had that card forever. And I'm going to lay off that because I just wanted to see if he was going to walk me. He tossed a change up right in there. But... Anyways, here we go. Let's go, Shaw. Give me something, and I'm gonna walk. I don't, I don't mind that because I was kind of looking for a walk that whole time. And now we got Goldschmidt up, and if he gives me something to hit, I'm gonna be ripping. And he did, but it was just a little bit too fast. Probably only like 93. Not very fast. It was 93. That was pretty money on the dot. And now let's see if we get. He's gonna give me another one. 94 mile an hour fastball inside. Come on, give me something to hit. And that's got to be getting down. I ripped that past the shortstop. I don't know who his shortstop is, but Goldschmidt gets a hit. Now we got this rookie. Look at the card. This rookie Aaron Judge card. 2017 cover athlete for MLB The Show 18. Pretty crazy. 
I, I think it would have been cool to see Stanton there if he got like 61 home runs. I think he would have had a really good shot at getting a uh, cover athlete, but Aaron Judge had a monster year, so I, I respect it. You know, it's, it's understandable. He had, what, 52 home runs or something as a rookie, which is absolutely mind-blowing. He's like 24, 25 years old. That's, that's just crazy. But anyways, he tosses in Swarzak. No outs. Runners on first and second. He's going to give me a, a lot of movement on that two seam, cutting inside at me. And now he's going to do it again. That one didn't seem to move as much, but it's a 2-0 count to judge. This is a big count. This is a big count, and it's going to be 3-0, and I'm going to have to take because if the bases are loaded, that's a much better chance of scoring. And it looks, wow, dude, he's getting these calls. He's pitching me inside every time, too. He thinks I can't catch up to anything, which may be true at times like that. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Come on, Judge. I just need, I just need you to get uh, contact. I just need contact with this. Coglin will do the rest once we hit... Uh, move someone over to third base, and it looks like he's gonna walk me. Base is loaded. He's walked two people, and I got a base hit with Goldschmidt. And now he's gonna toss. Is he gonna toss in a bad lefty? No, he's not. Okay, come on, Coglin. Come on, Coglin. He comes through. That's gonna score two. And now we're up 2-0 with no outs. Dang, I should have advanced the runners. 2-0. Uh, with no outs in the top of the first inning, we might make this guy rage quit. I don't even know. We've only been recording for seven minutes, and I'm already up 2-0. And Tulo almost pulls it down the line. He hit me with that inside two-seam again. I'm just going to be ready for that inside fastball, and Tulo gets a base hit. Should we keep the bases loaded? No. I think we can score him. Yep, it throw was a little bit off. If it was on, it would have been a close play, but it, he might have had me. But now it's 3-0 with no outs, and we got Neil Walker up. Let's see if he gives me anything from here on out. It looks like, nope, that's not my controller. Your opponent's wireless controller has been disconnected. Um, I want to finish this game. I want to see how many, how many runs I can score. I'm, I'm just destroying right now. This is my third game on. We started off at 6-1 and one today, and I played a couple games, and now I'm going to uh, just keep playing and see if I can do anything. And I really don't want him to quit. Looks like he's not going to. He's going to stay in with Swarzak too. And he left me a pitch right down the pipe. A changeup. And I was early on it. And there's another decent changeup. I was tempted to chase that. Um, but it's a 2-1 count. And Neil Walker with a base hit. And we're going to keep the bases loaded for... Pina? No, Matt Kemp. Matt Kemp is up. So we can hit a home run. We can hit a grand slam right here. Should I put on a power swing? I mean, I have just constant base hits. And it looks like he's going to put in c -Sheck. Let's see if we can uh, put a power swing on it. He's going to throw me a sinker inside, I bet, right away. And nope, sinker outside. Maybe he just missed his spot. But 1-0. and oh, No outs still. And I pop out because it was just in an awkward spot of not being low and not being down the pipe. So I just moved it down too low. Um, so now we got now we got my catcher up. And I've actually been hitting pretty good with this catcher. So let's see if we can get a base hit. And we do. And that's going to score. Oh, shoot. Oh, get back. Get back. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, get back to second. Okay, there we go. We scored two more. And now it's like 5 nothing. I think. And now we got CC up, and we can't even swap because, uh, because we haven't, he hasn't hit yet, um, or we haven't pitched yet. So, I guess we're just gonna advance him with CC, old young CC, old young CC, young CC. And now we got Shaw back up, and Shaw's gonna get a base hit, and that's only gonna score one because, uh, my catcher's only has 30, 35 speed. And now we got Goldschmidt back up. Two outs, six nothing in the first inning. And he's going to throw it a little bit low. I'm going to wait for my pitch, see if I can drive him in. And that wasn't really my pitch, but I put a power swing on it. Popped out to the right fielder, which looks like Bichette maybe. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure, but now we're on to pitching. And let's see what we can do. That, oh, this is a weird angle. I don't like this at all. This this makes me feel weird. I feel like the A's always has weird angles for pitching. And it looks like he's going to get a base hit on the first pitch somehow with Roberto Alomar. But we're going to stop him right here. No more hits, okay? No more hits. And 
Oh, he ran on me. He ran on me, but he's not going to get it. It was just barely in the dirt, and he thought he could get it. But uh, now he has no one on the bases, so that's a good sign. And Reese Hoskins is up, and let's see if we can get him with the... Eh, let's go inside cutter. I was going to go curveball. That's a pretty good pitch, and we got him. We got him to like kind of check like half swing, and that worked out pretty well. And now it's six nothing. They have one hit, and he quit. One hit, quit. There we go. Greenery thirteen. I'm sorry, I did destroy you. I'm going to say it. Six runs in the first inning. That's huge. And now we get to see who our twelve win reward is. So that's what I like to see. I told them they weren't going to get another hit, even though they quit. Still counts. So. Let's see what we have as our 12 win reward. I hope it's someone decent. I, I don't want it to be someone that's just not worth anything because that's what's been happening to me recently. So, let's check. Come on, give me something good. Give me Mike Trout, Clayton Kershaw. Clayton Kershaw I saw as my 12 win reward, I think last run and I didn't get it. Jason Giambi, he's worth like 90K I think still. I, I got him like a month ago for like nine, or and I sold him for like 90K, so this would be my second time getting him, but it's pretty cool because that is the first like new legend they really introduced into the game, and he was 98 overall. And this is an airsoft gun, by the way. I just I just kind of put that through the screen. It looked kind of weird, uh, but you could probably see the orange tip. But uh, yeah, Jason Giambi. It's a solid card, but there's so many better cards now, and I have the best first baseman in the game, uh, Jeff Bagwell. So I don't need anyone uh, in that position. And I don't know if he plays anywhere else but first base. But, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. That was a nice little quick, quick uh, 6-0 victory in, the, in just one inning of baseball. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Please drop a like if you guys did. Let me know if you want to see more of this and World War II. So, I'm sure you'll be seeing both. But let me know like what you want to see. If you want me to keep doing Battle Royale, want to do head-to-head, -head, bunch of different stuff I could do. I have something massive in here. Kind of just waiting for me. Um, uh, this 100 mix set standard packs. There's 100,000 subs to buy this thing. And uh, you get one previously released promo pack with a high chance for a gold or diamond player item. So that's pretty cool. 100 set pack opening. Huge, huge stuff. This would be super fun to do a video with. So anyways, like I said, thank you guys for watching. And that's going to be it for me today. So as always, I hope you're all having a nice day. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out, everyone.